Now, I know the holidays are coming around. You're maybe going home, seeing your parents, seeing your family and your siblings. And there's this overwhelming sense of, I should probably get something done, but doing anything is way too much effort. Now, in this video, I know that you want to relax, you want to have fun, you want to be productive all in one. But I'm going to share my ritual for still staying productive and not being super lazy during the holidays or if you're still in college during your summer break. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now I've also included some journaling exercises that will help you if you have a lot of free time, like if you're on a break. It's the first link in the description box. It'll bring you to a page where you sign up. You'll learn more about some strategies I use for journaling that I use to improve my life and figure out what to do. So that's the first link in the description box there below. So the way I personally juggle trying to relax and recover and also do something and be productive while also being able to take it easy and see my family is I just tell myself I have to only have one productive hour per day. So if you're struggling, tell yourself, hey, if I do one hour of something productive, then I'm off guilt-free for the day. And what I find is most often when I spend one hour being productive, it often will catapult into two or three hours and I didn't even notice it. Because if I'm getting up and I've got to do some work, I go to the cafe or the library or a friend's place, it ends up being more than an hour most of the time. But when you tell yourself just one hour, it's easy to psychologically get over that hump. The second thing is, and I think this is the most important, change your physical location to change your state. In my opinion, if you think you're going to be home with family and pets and relatives and you're going to do your one hour at your parents' home or at your own place or wherever you are, your relatives, I think you're fooling yourself because to me the most important aspect of productivity is changing your state and you can do that internally or you can do it externally I would recommend both but what I do is I always leave for example when I visit my parents I leave the house and go somewhere else when I want to do that one hour that's productive so maybe you pack up your stuff you have your list and you go to your favorite coffee shop in town you go to a local deli you go to your local library Change your location to change your state. And I guarantee you'll be so much more productive. The third thing here is that it always starts with the master the day game plan. So when I say the master the day game plan, this is a productivity ritual that I've shared in quite a lot of my videos. It involves the three sheet box productivity method. And it's so simple, this three part ritual, but it's so incredibly effective that I do it with every single coaching client. If you just have your piece of paper and you say, this is my one hour or this is my three hours, you break it into three boxes. Each box you list the core action or goal or whatever you're working on. And then you leave where you are. You go to a new place to change your state because you're changing your location. And then you get started on the first thing. You're going to have an incredibly productive day almost without fail. I guarantee your productivity will 2x or 5x or 10x. That in one hour you'll get more done than you might some days in three hours. So personally, that's how I cope with seeing family and friends and being on a break and still being productive. And for you, it's a matter of thinking about what do you most value? Maybe you really need this break and you need to do nothing. Or maybe you know yourself and you know you still need to be doing something at least an hour a day or you're studying, going to the gym or whatever it is. So that's how I would get started. Again, I've included those free journaling prompts right there in the description box. It's the first link. It's a beginner's guide to journaling some sample journaling exercises, and how I personally use journaling to improve my life. So click that first link and check it out. And otherwise, check out my last two videos right there and right there.